I thought I had this thing up uh, high enough above the creek, but apparently not. It, it was a pretty high ice here. So the, the, the weight of the ice actually pulled the whole thing downward. So it split the bottom 2x4, split the top 2x4s. Honestly, the right thing to do would be throw it all away, but the fan was a pain to build, so I'm hoping to repair it here. Now, it's way too heavy to lift, so my plan is to use these little linear actuators. These things are just driven by 12 volts DC. You can run them forward or backward by just switching the polarity. So step one is to figure out how to mount them onto something that can support the bridge. I had to grind, grind down those little brackets, but uh, they, they definitely fit fine. Quarter inch bolts. Now two of them supports both sides of the bridge, but isn't actually stable, right? It, uh, it's a four bar linkage is the ME term for it. So here I'm pulling diagonals. Now if it's long like this, the diagonals don't change length very much. So the idea here is that I'm going to stick in a, a static bar and then that's, that's going to constrain uh, the, uh, the, the diagonal motion. should keep it from rocking back and forth. The length is something of a compromise. So here I just used a chunk of EMT and I'm flattening it down so I can drill two pin, uh, pin holes in the ends. Then the same quarter inch bolts that go through the linear actuators will go through this. So those, those looked awful after I hammered them, so I, I tried to clean it up a little bit on the, uh, the vise. They still didn't look terribly good, but I, honestly this thing is designed to be functional. Uh, I'm not sure how many uses I'm going to get out of it, so you notice I'm not really taking a whole lot of care in fabricating the thing. It would probably be made of steel if I really wanted it to, uh, to resist bending, for example. So once this diagonal actually goes on, goodness, it really, uh, it, the, uh, the device, you know, I can go up and down. I can, by doing the, each individual linear actuator, I can tilt it. So I have, I have basically two degrees of freedom here, up, down, and tilting left, right. But it doesn't, it doesn't sway. It doesn't rock back and forth. So you can see essentially there's a triangle being lifted by the right linear actuator. I don't actually have control over the side-to-side -side length. If I really wanted that, then I could actually use a long linear actuator for the diagonal. So I'm just verifying that I have control. I can travel uh, back and forth. So just to show what happens, so it's, it's pretty stable with that diagonal in there. It's, it's not perfect because actually one of these linear actuators get drilled up to a bigger size than my bolts. But if you take the linear actuator, that, that diagonal off, then you pivot around the linear actuator. So that whole thing is just super floppy. Then of course, with, with the diagonal, it's in there. So I thought, heck, you know, let me, let me try this. So I stuck it under the creek. Luckily, there's, a, there's still a chunk of ice left over. So the ice giveth and the ice taketh away here. So my first step was to just to verify, like, can I move the bridge at all? So uh, just just wanted to make sure that uh, I sort of have the travels right. I don't need to change the length of that diagonal bar. So essentially, I'm just going to raise both of those linear actuators up until it basically just touches. And then what I'm doing is verifying that, yeah, you know, the uh, the thing jams itself under there pretty dang reliably. It, uh, I, I kind of lucked out having a, a nice little ice lump directly under the creek, or uh, under the uh, under the linear actuator there. You can hear the sound of the creek in the background. So, with uh, the creek, with the the bridge basically being supported on my little linear actuator setup, now I'm just coating everything in uh, a layer of glue, and I'm using Gorilla Glue for this, just because it expands. So I don't need to get the uh, 
the gaps down to exactly zero. So I really haven't moved the, the you notice the bridge has still got a, a significant warp to it. So my hope is to actually take that out. So essentially this is a bridge straightening maneuver. So here's where I'm actually slowly just working my way upward to try and make sure that I've got I've got the length correct. I, I'm I'm trying to line up the the top boards, the bottom boards, make sure everything is basically in a straight line. Uh, there seem to be plenty of power out of these linear, linear actuators. They're only rated for about 200 pounds, but they definitely seem to be, to be able to exert a lot more than that. So in this case, you can see my 2x4 on the bottom is pretty close to straight at this point. I was honestly amazed at how well this part worked. It, it does help that I have an absolutely rock solid, reliable chunk of ice underneath, so I can push down really hard and the ice isn't gonna go anywhere. But uh, it, it worked surprisingly well. I needed a clamp to hold the, the splinters uh, shut, but uh, almost managed to close up the crack on the, uh, the top uh, right side. The top left side is actually totally like back to being a one, one piece two by four. So it totally worked. I, I put in another uh, bracing 2x4 on top of the, uh, the big crack there. And then I was ready to just lower it. So let the glue dry and then this, this was ready to, to come on out. Uh, super easy to install, super easy to remove, just because it's, it's all electrically powered. And it's light. Most of my jacks are much heavier than this. So I thought, heck, this is pretty much done. And as soon as I put any weight on there, I knew that uh, some, something was not as, as sort of rigid as it should be. So if you look, this diagonal member came, came unglued. So that's, uh, that's no good. I gotta, I gotta actually fix that. So luckily that thing was, uh, it was pr pretty easy to access. So all I did is I, uh, I put one little screw to keep everything basically in place and then uh, glued on a chunk of 2x6. So that's, uh, it's got glue on it, it's got uh, screws, and then the, the nails totally spoiled my pneumatic nailer, so I, I, uh, I'm out of practice on putting in nails by hand. It's harder than it looks. So essentially, once that diagonal is back in there, now the uh, the bridge is pretty much repaired. It it's not totally clear how many how many winters it's going to survive. I, at some point, once the rest of the ice is melted out there, I should be able to move that uh, that far end. And I think I'm going to prop it up another probably eight or sixteen inches. Uh, that'd be one or two courses of, of cinder block underneath there. So I hop on it. It is rigid. Here's a view from the drone. It's definitely still spring, uh, middle of May here. The leaves aren't quite totally out. You can see my lawn is still pretty much in winter mode. 